deep in the Siberian forest, 5,000 miles from home. American and Russians struggle with sub-zero temperatures, cold war machinery, and each other. Together they can earn a fortune. Apart they face shame, defeat, ruin, or worse, they lose everything. For 17 years, Sean Mon has run logging crews all over Siberia. Now he has the opportunity of a lifetime to go it alone. Sean has shaken on a deal with Colonel Pakuchik for a prime cutting block in the biggest forest in the world. If Sean cuts 8,000 trees, he could make half a million dollars in just three months. He's got a state-of-the-art logging iron and three skilled Russian crew. But Sean needs double the manpower and finding more skilled loggers in Siberia is tough. Sean is already three weeks into the third month winter logging season. Now he's heading 5,000 miles back to his home state of Montana to hunt down American loggers, willing to risk it all on a new frozen frontier. In Montana, Sean is hustling local loggers for leads on available crew. Since America's downturn, the logging industry is in free fall and in Montana jobs to cut wood are fewer than ever. To fulfill his, his logging contract in Siberia, Sean must convince four Montana loggers to leave their families and their country behind. But Sean can only offer an average logging wage of $5,000 a month plus a bonus. Sean arrives at Jack's saloon. It's full of loggers waiting to hear Sean's pitch. If Sean gets it right, he should be able to find skilled guys willing to risk the wilds of Siberia for a steady paycheck.